Yo, what is up guys, it is Pat here, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining why there's still a little bit of hope for the Houston Texans. Now, obviously, the injury to Deshaun Watson is horrible. I feel so bad for him. He had a great rookie season so far, and people were considering him to be an MVP candidate. The great game against the Seahawks, although it was a loss, he put up great stats and played a great game all the way down till the end. Now before I get into this video, before you guys bash me in the comments, I'm not saying that the Texans are going to make the Super Bowl, or they might not even make the playoffs, but I think that they should still have hope and they shouldn't just give up on their season. Now although their star quarterback is out and pretty much the offense has been run through him, they shouldn't just give up and quit and just call the season quits in only week nine. There's still a lot of football to be played. And I'm going to be explaining why the new signing of Matt McGloin could turn their season and give them a little bit of hope and not just quit right now. Now, Matt McGloin was just signed by the Houston Texans, and he was the quarterback for Penn State from 2009 through 2012. And his head coach at that time was Bill O'Brien, who is now the head coach of the Houston Texans. Now, McGloin has got some great chemistry with Bill O'Brien, and although he's not the great quarterback, and I know he's not going to lead them to some historic story where they make the playoffs, they still have some chemistry, and they play for four years before he was even in the NFL. Now, Matt McGloin's stats in his first couple of years were not that good. In 2009, he only threw two passes, and he didn't complete any of them. His quarterback rating was obviously a zero. In 2010, he had 118 completions um, for 1,548 yards, 14 TDs, and 9 interceptions. But in 2011 is where they, really, where they started to bring him into the offense. In that season, he had 125 completions out of 231 attempts for 1,571 yards, 8 TDs, and 5 interceptions. So not a great season there. But in 2012, it all changed. He threw almost 200 more passes, 270 completions, 446 attempts, 24 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. That's when their chemistry really started to click and he pretty much changed his whole college resume around in terms of football. Now I know he hasn't amassed as much as the Oakland Raiders quarterback or in the Philadelphia, for the Philadelphia Eagles and he really didn't play much but he did play a playoff game while he was on the Oakland Raiders against the Houston Texans. So that's kind of interesting there. Now he does have a pretty good supporting cast obviously with Will Fuller who is one of the best deep pass catchers in the league and DeAndre Hopkins, obviously a star receiver, and their defense is injured. They don't have J.J. Watt or Whitley Merciless. They still have a pretty decent defense and have been able to keep up a little bit. Now, I know Deshaun Watson being injured is probably the worst thing that could happen for Texans fans, but I still think that they shouldn't just give up and just call it quits and just say, yeah, our season's over. But they should still play for their fans. They have supported them ever since they were the Houston Texans that were 2-14, back when everything was bad with Matt Schaub and now here they are being a very good team in the NFL and although these injury things happen the team should still rally and not give up and they still have the rest of the season to play with quarterback Matt McGloin. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more types of videos like this or if it's your first time visiting my channel I post a lot of NFL what ifs and conspiracies and stuff like this and I know this is a little bit of a controversial topic but I'm just saying why there's a little bit of a sliver of hope and I'm not guaranteeing anything or boldly claiming anything but yeah that'll be for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe peace thanks for watching Yeah.